Welcome back! Are you ready to continue studying English? Today, we will continue with the vocabulary and grammar part for this unit. Hope you have learned the new vocabulary from the previous lesson and are ready to show your knowledge. Match the definitions 1 to 5 with the expressions A to G. There are two extra expressions. So, the first column. 1. You have flexible working hours. 2. You sometimes work during the day and sometimes at night. 3. You work extra hours. 4. You spend a long time working. 5. You don't work all day. And the second one. A. Work long hours. B. Do shift work. C. Work from 9 to 5. D. Work full time. E. Be on flexi time. F. Work part time. G. Work overtime. Pause the video and do the task. Then we will check your answers. Here are the answers. So, one, you have flexible working hours, means be on flexi time. Two, you sometimes work during the day and sometimes at night, means you do shift work. Three, you work extra hours, it's when you work overtime. Four, you spend a long time working, it's when you work long hours. 5. You don't work all day means you work part-time. OK, in which jobs or situations do you think it is common to work 1. From 9 to 5? 5. The answer in a normal office job. And long hours? People with a lot of responsibility and who can be well paid, for example, managers, directors. What about overtime? You will work overtime in a stressful job with a lot of tasks when you want to be promoted or you are a teacher who cares about your students passing external exams with flying colors. Well. In your adult life, you will have to proceed through several stages. Here they are. Apply for a job. Be offered a job. Get a promotion. Look for a job. Sign a contract. Put these different events in a logical order. Pause the video and do the task. Now, listen and check. 1. Look for a job. 2. Apply for a job. 3. Be offered a job. 4. Sign a contract. 5. Get a promotion. Good job! Now let's decide which phrases describe the four jobs. Write at least three numbers in each of the columns. Here are the phrases. 1. Usually work long hours. 2. Usually do shift work. 3. Usually work from 9 to 5. 4. Are skilled. 5. Usually work indoors. 6. Often work outdoors. 7. Are usually self-employed. 8. Are usually employees. 9. Work in dangerous conditions. 10. Mainly do paperwork. 11. Mainly do manual work. 12. Deal with lots of different people. And here are four jobs. Farmers, nurses, personal assistants and firefighters. Pause the video and do the task. You can print it out from the document attached to this lesson. If you are ready, let me show you suggested answers for the firefighters. So. Firefighters usually work long hours and do shift work. They often work outdoors and work in dangerous conditions. Make up your sentences as in the example provided. There is a specific reason why I have chosen to make up a sentence about firefighters. 
My dad used to work as a firefighter when he was a student. There are two pictures of him. He used to do shifts, usually at night. Nearly every night, he would rush to help others and save lives. Have you noticed the grammar constructions from the previous lesson? My dad used to work as a firefighter when he was a student. Nearly every night, he would rush to help others and save lives. Which sentences describe A. A single event in the past B. Repeated past actions C. Past habits D. A past state Here are the sentences. She used to love her job. She didn't used to travel. She applied for the job. Their supervisor used to tell them off. Pause the video, do the task. Two answers are possible. So, she used to love her job. This is D, a past state. She didn't use to travel. This is B, repeated past actions and C, past habits. She applied for the job. This is A, a single event in the past. Their supervisor used to tell them off. This is also B, repeated past actions, and C, past habits. Okay, now you are ready for another task. Take a look at these sentences. Write the verb in bold with would, if possible, or with used to. 1. We lived in a small town. 2. I had a part-time job in a shop. 3. I went to work every Saturday. 4. I started at 9 in the morning. 5. I didn't work late. 6. I didn't like my job, so I decided to leave. Pause the video and we'll check the answers together later. So, let's check. We used to live in a small town. I used to have a part-time job in a shop. I would go to work every Saturday. I would start at 9 in the morning. I didn't use to work late. I didn't use to like my job, so I decided to leave. OK, guys, that's it for today. Please don't forget to do a test below the video. Write down any unknown words, work on your Quizlet for this unit. Try to use words and phrases from this lesson to make up your sentences to describe different jobs. Stay safe and motivated. See you next time. Bye.